Kids, time spent every afternoon during Camp Cartoon can make the most inexperienced tenderfoot an expert camper. On Monday, it's Ed, Ed, and Eddie. On Tuesday, it's codenamed Kids Next Door. On Wednesday, it's the grim adventures of Billy and Mandy. On Thursday, it's two Scooby-Doo movies. And on Jamboree Friday, it's the Powerpuff Girls. The great outdoors are a-calling every afternoon during Camp Cartoon, Monday through Friday from 12 to 4 on Cartoon Network. Listen to the Yeti! Kellogg's Chocolate Pop-Tarts. You can freeze them and eat them. Now available in the chocolate chip cookie dough. That guy needs a pack wax. There is one card so powerful, so dangerous, so uncontrollable, it could even defeat Yugi. It was locked away forever. Until now. Yugi, we've only got one chance left. With the future at stake, the world turns to one person. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie. And when you see Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie, you can receive one of four special Yu-Gi-Oh! cards you can't get anywhere else. Yu-Gi-Oh! The Movie. Rated PG. The duel begins August 13th. Only in theater. At least we're going after a bad guy with good taste. Now back to Totally Spies on Magoozy. <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Bora Bora Resort Hotel is proud to welcome the recipients of the Achievements in Science Award. Uh, enjoy your retreat. Huh? Look! Huh? seen anything like that. It's a new species! Huh? <gasps> They're beautiful. <gasps> oh. What's going on? Oh, where am I? <laughs> Don't forget, students, my 
Sunday is school picture day. Let's all try to look our best. I am so not ready for picture day. Tell me about it. I totally don't know what to wear. Should I smile this year or go for the classic pout? Hello, pathetic wannabes. I am getting my hair done by Maurice Maurice, the greatest stylist in the world. Only a master such as he can do justice to my beautiful locks. <sighs> I saved your hair, Mandy. Ah! My hair is my life. I am forever in your debt. From now on, we are friends. I'll pick you up tonight to go to that new dance club, best friend. Uh, no, thanks. No need to thank me. See you at 8 p.m. Or we could go to a movie, huh? or get something to eat, or how about a latte? This would be like the best time to get pulled away to whoop. That was perfect timing. Thanks, Jerry. Well, you're welcome. I have something to show you. Ten of the world's top scientists were at a conference in Bora Bora when something very odd happened. Bora Bora? <laughs> huh? Those are so cute. Ugh, those are so gross. Yes, well, those cute gross blobs erased the scientists' memories completely. Whoop needs you to find out who is behind this and stop them. This could potentially have dangerous global ramifications. Now, let's get your equipment. This is Muka, multi-use cranium apparatus. Everything you need to sustain yourself underwater. Cool. Do you have one in Fuchsia? Nuclear-powered jet boots for underwater propulsion. Waste restrainers containing titanium grappling hooks, a repellent spear pistol, and infusion exploders. And Liab 9000, lab in a briefcase for on-the-spot analysis. And you'll need to bone up on your marine biology. We have to study? Last but not least, super cycles. Voice activated. Wow! Each cycle recognizes your own particular voice. Simple commands such as go, faster, etc. You tell the bike what to do, and it does it. Allow me to demonstrate. Start. <laughs> <laughs> They're very sensitive. Stop! Wow! Now, there's no time to lose. You must leave Wait, right... I can't go! Why not? I left my new sunglasses at home. Clover, please. You didn't expect me to go to a tropical island without my new sunglasses, did you? Come on, Clover. Ready to hit the dance club? Uh, Mandy, I I, I, I can't. I, I've got to visit my my uh, the sick aunt. Ew! I hate sick aunts. But okay, I can help. Any relative of yours is a relative of mine. No, thanks. She's got a uh, uh, monkey nucleosis. Very rare and very contagious. I wouldn't want you to get it. <laughs> Gotta go. <laughs> the attack took place. Working undercover as tourists is the best. Cool that you guys were supposed to be investigating here. Who says you can't tan and investigate at the same time? Oh! Oh! Ew, blob juice. Don't! Ah! That's evidence. Blobs aren't organic. They're man-made. Somebody manufactured these things. We'll send this to Whoop for further analysis. Now, let's check out those scientists. Who are you? 
Who am I? Where am I? <laughs> Mommy? Hi, my name's Clover. I'm taking biology this year. When you get your memory back. You can help me on my midterm. <laughs> uh, who's biology? <laughs> I will only say this once. One billion dollars must be left at Black Death Cove by tomorrow morning at dawn. If not, I promise you will regret it. Oh, this is the most horrible thing I could ever imagine. Hey, Sam. Hello. No, that is the most horrible thing you could ever imagine. What a totally amazing surprise! I needed to get a tan for the school pictures. I look like a mime. And this is my favorite tanning beach in the whole world! Where's Auntie Monkey Nucleus? Auntie who? Oh! Oh, yeah, uh, she, she got better. Great! Now we don't have to take care of that cranky loon. We can hang out together, because that's what best friends are for, <gasps> right? So, what exactly are you all doing here, Sam? Uh, <gasps> um, well... The hotel hired us to give dance lessons. Yeah! Yeah! This is the lamest thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Candy needs her beauty sleep. Night, Sam. Meet me at the bazaar tomorrow morning. We'll go shopping. Just lose the losers. See ya! You better get rid of your friend. She is not my friend. You know, I have a prom coming up oh, and her. Come on. Okay, we wait here with the money till somebody shows up. Just let me know when the bad guys get here. The bad guys are here. What? Only two of them? It should be easy. Yeah, too easy. Huh? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Run! <laughs> this is so bad for my skin. Come on, let's get him! Who are you? Oh. She got lobbed! Lobbed? Really? What is 
What's going on? Huh? Uh, we were just playing a game. Yeah, it's called Who Are You? Who Are You? Sam is really good at it. Well, I want to play too. Uh, sure. You can play the next round, but you have to play it on jet skis. Right. Round two is on jet skis, so go ride a jet ski and we'll meet you at the marina. Jet skis? Go! Ciao! Go! <laughs> Jerry, Sam got hit by a blob and lost her memory. Don't let her out of your sight. She's safest with you. Listen, I have new information. We analyzed the blob residue and traced it to a man named Lester Crowley. A janitor? Well, he was a janitor at the Brooks Marine Biology Institute. He wanted to be a scientist. Evidently, he tried some experimenting on his own. At night, he secretly worked on a cure for memory loss using sea creatures. He was discovered, fired, and arrested. He escaped and disappeared. Stealing millions of dollars worth of equipment. You need to find him fast. Good luck. Marine biologist wannabe, huh? I think I know where we should start looking. Someone would tell me what is going on. Okay, your name is Sam. Sam? Am I a man? No, you're a girl. Switch on helmet subs. Sam! Are you sure these are made for water landing? Of course they are! Underwater Research Institute. I think this is it. Now, how are we going to get in? <laughs> Subtle? No. Effective? Yes. Hey! What am I supposed to do? Shh! Can I go home, please? Wherever my home is, this is not fun at all. That's our man! We will now implement the final phase. I will unleash my vengeance upon the world and then... Utter chaos. I will hold the world's memories in my hand. We have to sneak back out, get reinforcements, and then... Hey! Uh -huh. You in the white coat. <gasps> you know who I am? Seize them! <clears throat> Is that a bad thing to do? You look like intelligent young girls. I think you'll enjoy a demonstration of the hatching process of my blobs. Observe. After hatching, they search for the closest human brain and suck the memory out. I must go, but I do hope you enjoy the demonstration. Is this like an initiation into a secret club or something? Control. What about Mandy? 
No time to worry about her. She's safe below, and more importantly, she's not following us. Preparing <laughs> approach to New York City. Sam's memory. Where's the thingy with all the memories? Huh? Sam, do you know who you are? Duh. I'm Sam. We're spies for the World Organization of Human Protection. You know, whoop. You two look tired. Yeah, well, it's been kind of a long huh. day. You're back! <laughs> <laughs> so have we found out who's behind this? Did whoop get anything from the blob residue? <laughs> Hi, Mandy. Did we... What is she doing up here? Oh, oh my, my gosh, you're all spies! I cannot wait to tell everyone about this at school! Girls, we got a problem here. I don't think so. I'm glad we erased part of Mandy's memory so she doesn't remember where <laughs> you know what. Yeah, it's so great to have the old Mandy back. <laughs> Why are you girls even bothering to get your pictures taken? You'll never look as gorgeous as me. Are my perfect teeth in focus? Hey, monkey boy, you are shooting perfection here. Work with me. Oh, I knew I should have brought my own photographer. Cheese!
coming right back. It's my cousin Ricky's first ever ride on the subway. When he says... I had Reese's for breakfast. Get out. For breakfast? Yeah, Reese's puff cereal. So I try some, and it tastes like a Reese's cup. Soon my mouth is taking a ride on a chocolatey peanut butter express. Reese's Puffs, part of this good breakfast. Just when I stop, so does the train. What? It's Reese's for breakfast. Is your child protected for the future? Gerber, the baby people you've known since you were a baby, offers you a way to help with that protection through their grow-up plan for children. It's a $5,000 cash value insurance program that costs less than 11 cents a day. At age 21, that protection doubles to $10,000 with no increase in premiums. In addition to automatically doubling at age 21, the plan guarantees the right to $50,000 of insurance by age 28, regardless of health or occupation. So call now for your free information package. Any healthy child 12 and under is eligible. No medical exam necessary. Simply answer a few questions. As a special feature, your first month's premium is $1. The Gerber Life Grow Up Plan. One quick call today can help protect your child for tomorrow. Call 1-800-441-2400. The information package is free. There's no obligation. Call 1-800-441-2400. Boarding school kids have it easy. Are you ready? Use a big supercomputer. Virtualization. Battle in a virtual world. We're not exactly having a tea party here. Stop an evil villain. Santa's up to something. And save the world. Return to the past now. On second thought, maybe it's not so easy. I'm beginning to wonder if I'm up to the job. Code Lyoko. Weekdays at 5.30. Now which one of you wants to be first? Only on Maguzi. If you provoke a collision between two neutrons, what do you obtain? Who would like to answer? Anybody? Nobody? <laughs> Me, man. Hello? Yes, Hello? her. Uh, Hello? 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 Who is this? Sissy, you, the principal's daughter, should know the rule dealing with cell phones. Now, why don't you remind us all what that rule is? All mobile phones have got to be turned off before entering the classroom under penalty of having them confiscated. Hand it over! And that goes for everyone. Quiet oh. oh. down! Oh. Put all your cell phones on my desk right now! Oh. Oh. Santa's sure gonna be happy about this. We have this weird problem. This morning, like, everyone's cell phones started ringing and... The teacher confiscated them. Us too. Crazy, huh? All those calls and no one at the other end? I think I'll contact Aylita. This could be Xana's doing. We've got to do something. If Jeremy's right and we can't stay in contact, we're in a real jam. Hey, you three! Huh? I'm organizing a meeting. They've got to give us our mobiles back. Will, are you with us? You bet we are. Huh, no kidding. If you really mean it... We'll see you in the auditorium right mm -hmm. after lunch. Mm. You were right. We gotta see what's up. Connection. Lylita, do you read me? Lylita? 
Oh, hello, Jeremy. Hi. Tell me, have you noticed anything strange on the Yoko? No, should I have? I don't know, but I'd better launch a scan to check. Okay, and I'll see if I can pick up any of Xana's pulsations. Good, but be careful. See you later. You're gonna take back your cell phone? That's called stealing, you know that? No, it's not. Taking back what belongs to you in the first place is not what I would call stealing. The students were warned. I'm not going to return their phones that quickly. We need to deactivate the school's mm -hmm. antenna. That way, even with new phones, they won't be able to use them. Can you handle that, Jim? Huh? We have no choice, Yumi. Oh. Thank you, Charles. Okay, all right, let's go. The coast is clear. Here we go. Mission accomplished. Let's hope that nobody finds out. I'd rather hope that we're worried over nothing. For now, the scan hasn't found an activated tower. I haven't seen anything either. False alarm. Oh, Xana! Why would Xana be interested in mobile phones, huh? Hmm. That's what I'm hoping to find out by checking out the school's antenna. I'm off to the meeting, I promise, sissy. Huh? Hey, who let you guys up here? Trying to stop me from disconnecting the antenna? Uh, us? No, we were just passing by. <laughs> Careful! <laughs> We'll take him to the infirmary. Okay, I'll try to find out what Xana's done to the antenna. Hey, Jim, can you hear me? It smells like roast chicken, huh? Mm. Jim! Hey, Jim! Yoo-hoo! Aw, oh, Ulrich, huh? what are you doing here? Jim! Mm. What happened to him? Oh, you know how Jim is. He's a regular live wire, so... Oh, uh -huh. I mean... Main television antenna. Oh, Miss Yumi is gracing us with her presence. Where were you when we wrote the petition? Just what is going on in here? Oh, Dad, uh, I mean, sir, what is going on here is this. Mm -hmm. You see, we all signed a petition, so you have to give us back our cell phones. Oh, really? First, let me remind you that in this establishment, the students do not make the rules. Secondly, Miss Hertz has just learned that someone forced her locker open to get back his cell phone. Hmm? It's only normal, sir. How can anyone live without their cell phone? I'm sorry, but this hmm. theft is another reason for not returning them to you. And we're going to investigate to determine who had the nerve to steal back his own. And I say we don't set foot in the classroom without our mobiles. Yeah! yeah. Let's you see these waves? Xana's using the school antenna unit to try to plug into the main television dish. That's why all the phones rang? Right. 
It jams the frequencies. If Xana manages to take control of the dish, he'll have direct access to the satellites that are now orbiting the Earth. And? And he'll be able to guide a military satellite. Hmm. Okay, but for what reason? I wish I knew. In peacetime, these satellites are used for spying, but if Xana reprograms one, who knows? Anything can happen. Jeremy's right, this is serious. You better believe it, Ulrich. The scan has detected a tower! Jeremy, Xana has activated a tower in the polar region. We're on our way. Better hurry. Let's go through the tunnel in the park. <laughs> Kiwi, you stay here. Stay here in case Xana's got plans to attack the school. Hey, are you with us or not? <laughs> Ever heard of solidarity? Don't worry, Sissy, I'm with you a hundred percent. No more phones, no more school, no more phones. Okay, let's go. Kiwi, what are you doing here? Incredible, for a dog, he's stubborn as a mule. Well, now that you're here, come on. Alita's on her way to the polar region. Alita? Jeremy, I made it to the ice flow, but I don't see any activated tower. Okay, wait there for Ulrich and Odd, and watch out for Xana's monsters. Well, are you ready? Here we go. Transfer Ulrich. Transfer Odd. Scanner Odd. Scanner Ulrich. Virtualization. Ah, uh. oh, There she is. Good news. Xana's still not in control of the TV dish. That gives us a little time. I'll try to find out which satellite Xana might want to get his hands on, but it won't be easy. No more phones, no more school! 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 No! Okay, now let's try the access code. Access code accepted. Yes. <laughs> Bingo. Let's see. U-466. Uh, military satellite armed with... A highly destructive laser beam. Where can that tower be? One thing at a time, Odd. First of all, I figured it out. I know what Xan is after. He wants to gain control of a highly accurate and destructive satellite. If he does, he can destroy whatever he wants. The factory safe. Xana wouldn't fire at himself. Right. That'll give us time to take care of things on Lyoka. Sounds good. But if Xana decides to destroy the school... <sighs> Remember, Yumi's there, so that's for sure what he's gonna do. We have to warn her. But without a mobile... I demand 
that you stop this absurd strike now. Huh? Kiwi. Yumi, what is going on? Oh, he, uh, well, I... This is inadmissible. Uh, to my office, immediately. Did you see that? We have to save her from the dictator. Free Yumi! Yeah. Free Liberty for Yumi! Yumi. Free, Yumi. Free, Yumi. Free Yumi! Free Yumi! Free Yumi! According to the hollow map, the tower is just across the bridge. But be careful, it's probably guarded by those, uh... By the waspsters. Thanks, we've noticed. Remember, the poison they're carrying will kill your life points, <laughs> so watch out. What are they waiting for? They must just want to hold you there until Xan is able to control the satellite. You've got to get past the laser arrow! No, I need to watch out! Ilita, don't take any chances. Leave that to Auden or Rick. Yumi, I don't understand what's going on. A strike, a dog. You're usually so sensible, too. Yumi, will you listen to me? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but I have to huh? leave right away. You too, as a matter of fact. Everyone around here has to leave. <sighs> we have no choice. One of you has to make the sacrifice. Listen, I'll attract their attention so you can get through. Here I go. I'm wait! Take that! Okay, let's go. Yeah, take that! Ow! Ow! Ah, uh, between the poison and the arrows, you've already lost 70 life points. You said no choice? There, you horrible beast! You've only got 20 life points left, Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh no, Zan has taken over the satellite! I let you go, Yumi? I escaped when he wasn't looking. What? Because our our demands are more important than anything for me. In fact, we should increase the strength of our movement and protest in town. Uh. Huh? Hmm? Everyone into town! We've got to get all the schools on our side! Huh? Okay! Yeah! yeah. Let's go! Freedom for all! What an incredible technological masterpiece! Oh. Oh. Parameters locked in place, target localized. Already? We were right. The school's in the satellite line of fire. But... High school students, middle school students, all for one and one more. Come on, faster! You will not leave the grounds. You have no right! Mm -hmm. uh... What's going on? I thought the tower was supposed to be here. Uh... Ten life points left. Ulrich, it's game over for me. Oh no! Ulrich! Ailita! The monsters are after you! The hollow map doesn't lie. It's gotta be there somewhere. No! about me. I wonder how accurate this satellite really is. I don't believe it. Yumi's in danger. 
Ranger! The laser's aimed right at her! You're making a terrible mistake! I beg of you, sir! We've all got to get out of here! I have had enough, Yumi. I'm suspending you for a month. You and your dog are to leave this campus now. As for the rest of you, uh, back to your classrooms. This strike uh, is over. Sir, it's a question of life and death. Let us all leave, please. Hey, aren't you being a little dramatic, Yumi? Yumi! Uh, to the factory, hurry. It's you the satellite's after. Uh. Huh? <laughs> yeah! out of here now I lead it have you found it yet time's uh, running out I'm doing my best but nothing yet it's pretty well hidden on the tower yet? I think I have. Okay, go. to a party? Mm, not really. <laughs> what is this thing? Official school policy reminder to all students. All mobile phones not turned off before entering the classroom will be immediately confiscated. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Talk about teacher's pets. Hmm. Anyway, I'd like to see someone try to confiscate my mobile. You're so brave. <laughs> <laughs> Dodgeball. Ready? 
dessert so boring it's left your family snoring not anymore introducing the original chocolate factory the fun easy way to turn ordinary into extraordinary desserts just place in store-bought chocolate select your favorite treat then simply dip it dunk it fill it or pour it look regular pots burn chocolate but chocolate factory's double boiler is two pans in one the bottom simmers water while the top quickly melts chocolate into a smooth and creamy sensation. Chocolate Factory includes this dipping spoon, perfect for nuts, candies, or succulent strawberries. This dipping fork, ideal for pretzels, bananas, or mouth-watering macaroons. And the kids will love this. Just fill the designer mold and presto, snowmen during the holidays, dark chocolate flowers for a bridal shower, American flags on the 4th of July, even teddy bears and fancy seashells are yours. And watch, place in these sticks and in no time you've got a lovely heart-shaped lollipop. Or treat your house guests to a gourmet mixing spoon. The Chocolate Factory comes with 25 clear wraps and 25 ties to create the ultimate gift basket. You also get this perfect pour bottle to write your name on a cake, neatly fill a mold, or decorate a dessert plate. This dip and pour ladle to drizzle chocolate on a cake, easily top an ice cream sundae, or create tasty caramel turtles. Chocolate Factory is also great for caramel, fudge, or cheese fondue. Look, this cost $55 at the store, but with the Chocolate Factory, you can make your own for a fraction of the price. Call now and receive the complete Chocolate Factory kit with this dipping dessert guide. That's over 85 pieces for only $19.95. And here's a bonus, two deep chocolate cup molds. Make a peanut butter surprise. Fill them with fruits, candies, or chocolate mousse. Yours free. It's a $60 value, all yours for just $19.95. So call now. Call 1-800-592-3388 and order the Chocolate Factory for $19.95. Reward yourself with tempting chocolate creations. Must be 18 or older to order. And now back to Code Lyoko. Code Lyoko now continues. to launch the program. Oh, no, I don't believe it. Not again. Uh, I'm... Darn it, I'm so useless. I'm never gonna do it. And I'm sure you will, Jeremy. Thanks for the encouragement, but I'm useless, I tell you. Jeremy, do you think we get along well in the real world? I mean, as well as we do now? Yeah, of course. Why? Well, because I'm not so sure. I'd like to have a best friend who's useless. You understand? <sighs> ha ha, very funny. Hey, get a move on, Jeremy. You're going to be late for school again. Wow, is it that late already? Okay, I'll be right there, Odd. Anyhow, useless or not, I'm going to try one more thing. Okay, I get the picture. See you later. <laughs> Whatever 
Saturdays of yours weighs at least a ton. <sighs> it's not a whatever. It's been in my family for hundreds of years. <sighs> so when are you gonna unveil your thingamabob? At the very end of my report, you'll see it's gonna be a smash hit, a real showstopper, worth an A, I hope. Well, you sure wouldn't find a thing like that at my house. First of all, your whatchamacallit doesn't go with the drapes in the living room. Whatchamacallit, whatever. What I like most about you, Ulrich, is your rich vocabulary. <laughs> Don't look now, Tamiya, but I smell a big, juicy scoop. So do I. Okay, rolling. Go ahead. Fellow middle school students, hello. This is Millie and Tamiya of the seventh grade reporting the school news. You may not know it, but just behind your backs, something strange is hatching. And this, my friends, is a part of it. In our constant quest to be the first to report the latest news, we are bringing you this exclusive expose of what's hidden under this drape. Tamiya, listen, is there any reason for your filming your feet? Hey, Tamiya! I'm sorry, it scares me a little. Oh no, time for class already? You know, Jeremy, most people use the night hours to sleep. I was trying a new program for materializing Aelita. With this last one I was trying, I almost succeeded. I was nearly there. And what are you going to say to her when you do succeed? You never knew how to talk to a girl. With Aelita, it's not the same. You're right, it's not the same. Good morning, everyone. Before the start of your first class this morning, I would like to introduce your new classmate. Come in, Talia. I'm sure your fellow students are anxious to meet you. Okay, here's your chance. Imagine she's here in front of you right now in flesh and blood. What are you going to say? Oh, well... Oh. Beep, sorry, your time is up. You could do with a few pointers and flirting. Oh, wow, this is... I don't believe it. You're right, she sure does look like her. But if it really is her, she ought to be able to recognize us, don't you think? Not necessarily. She may have lost her memory when she was materialized. Well, talk to her. It's the only way you can find out. What if it's not her? Hmm? Hmm. <sighs> Go on! Hey! Okay, wait. watch your next part work and learn. Hi there, I... Uh, I mean, Talia. My friends and I were, uh... We thought you looked familiar, like we'd seen you before. Come on, that's the oldest pickup line around. Huh? Hey, who uh. said that I wanted to pick you up? I was just making conversation. Uh, by the way, do things like the virtual world or crabs or buzzing monsters mean anything to you? Uh, well, yeah. It means that I'd better be moving along. Hey, wait a minute, don't go. Where are you from? Do you have a family? I'm not in the mood to talk. Well? It's not her. He's only saying that because he just got the brush off big time. Watch an expert and learn, huh? Anyway, if it is Aelita, it's for sure she's got amnesia. Wait a second, hold on. Let's say it's her. If it's really her, I mean for sure, then she can't still be on the Yoko. You can check it out later. Right now we have a date with Mrs. Mayer. Wish me luck for my report, everybody. Thanks for caring, guys. Now, we have here a simple equation with two unknowns. I unknown. have to check out the Yoko now. I can't wait any longer. Okay, we'll go together. Uh, Mrs. Mayor! Excuse me. Yes, what is it? I'm sorry, but I need to go to the infirmary. I don't feel too well. I feel, uh... I feel really sick. Oh, yes, of course, Jeremy. Go ahead. Uh, I'll take him there. I mean, uh, you never know, huh? We're just about connected. Jim's gonna catch us if you don't hurry up. Aelita, do you read me? It's Jeremy, Aelita. She doesn't answer, but she might be in one of Xana's traps, like in a storm or snowbound, so you can't pick her up. What if the last calculations I tried were the right ones? You know, you could really use a good night's sleep. Odd, it's her. And I say you're nuts. I'm positive. I did it. I did it. Tell you, is Aelita. Well, of course, it's just a glimpse of my country's culture. To explain it all would take me hours, and I'm not sure you're ready to put up with me for that long, right? <laughs> to end my report, I'd like to show you something that's been in my family for centuries. 
It's a living symbol of Japan, and it's a... 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 A drape? Oh, Xana. Hey, you! What are you doing here? Huh? What kind of a costume is that? Huh? Hey, what's wrong with you, huh? You out of your head? Maybe one of the kids took it. Don't forget the electric plugs. Yeah, look, if Xana is in on this, we better not count on Aelita. We can't reach her on Lyoko. Odd we can't reach her on Lyoko, cause she isn't on Lyoko! Hmm? Sorry, you guys, but I can't believe that that girl is Aelita. Well, I know somebody who's dying to believe it. Children, hmm? please give me your attention. Several of your fellow students, as well as our own Jim, whom you all know and whom you respect, I know... Let's not go overboard, huh? Their attacker was a person who, uh, Well, a person who was wearing armor, the armor of a samurai. <clears throat> and this individual is still at large. Any information you can contribute to the police would be more than welcome. We can't wait any longer. We have to go to Lyoko, find Alita, and deactivate the tower. When are you going to get it into your thick heads that if the samurai is controlled by Xana, that he's after Talia? It makes sense, doesn't it, huh? Because Talia is Alita. Oh, wow, he's really flipped his lid, huh? Excuse me, miss. <laughs> it seems that this armor belongs to you. Uh... Listen to me, Xana's launched a new virus. Mm -mm. He's managed to take control of a samurai's armor. You're his sworn enemy. He's after you. You have no choice. You absolutely have to hide. As a pickup line, that's a lot more original than the one your friend tried. Aelita, please listen to me. It's definitely the materialization that gave you amnesia. The shock made you lose your memory. But you <laughs> have to trust me. You have to, Aelita. Hey, get your hands off of me. I don't trust anyone who's stark raving mad. Huh? Uh, no, Xana! You won't get her! I won't let you hear here! Come on, follow me! Hurry! Faster, Talia! Anyway, this samurai's armor does belong to you. Well, yes, my, to my parents. And you have no idea who might have stolen it? Look, we can't do anything here for you, Mjolnir. We have to tell Jeremy to meet us at the factory. <laughs> Jeremy's voicemail is on now. Wow, this place is weird. Follow me. That's Lyoko, the virtual world where you once lived. Doesn't that ring a bell at all? And this, um, this Xana you talked about, does he also live in the same yes. world? Yes, he's got total control. But if he's so dangerous, why didn't you destroy Lyoko? Because you're part of... It's... Because you were part of this world. You're totally crazy. <sighs> this whole story is crazy. <sighs> you know what I think? If all this stuff is so dangerous, it's time you destroyed it once and for all. Do you... Do you really think so? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Jeremy, stop! Huh? 
Have you gone mad or what, Einstein? What if Aelita is still on Lyoko? But she isn't, I tell you. Look, she's there. She's right in front of you. Jeremy, I know you've dreamt of seeing Aelita in reality for months, but please come down to Earth. You can't be sure. And what if you were mistaken? You mean you're ready to take the risk of destroying Aelita by destroying Xana, huh? We've got to make sure. You've got to let us go to Lyoko. And if Aelita's not there, who's going to deactivate the tower? We have to take the risk, huh? The last time I saw Aelita, she was in the mountain area. Transfer Ulrich. Transfer Odd. Scanner, Ulrich. Scanner, Odd. Virtualization. Yes, Jeremy. Mountains. Lots of them. I'm starting the scan to trace the tower that Xana activated. You have to understand, Talia. If you're not Aelita, then we've got to... Talia? <laughs> Finding someone around here is going to be harder than finding an idea in Jim's head. Huh? Oh. <clears throat> Ulrich, I just saw Aelita. Hmm? Where? In a kind of flash vision. Aelita! Oh, hi, Yumi. Well, is everything okay? Yes, they finished questioning me, but I just saw Talia, and she looked like she was in a hurry to go and see the principal. Oh, that can't be. This is awful, horrible. Yumi, I took Talia to the factory. You what? She's gonna tell the cops everything. Be right there. Oh, oh. Uh. Oh. Odd, Ulrich. The tower Xana's activated has been localized at 30 degrees north in, in the forest area. <clears throat> Without Aelita, that's not going to do us a lot of good. Look there! That ball of fire! That's exactly what I saw before. Aelita's inside it. Yeah! Ball is what's blocking the communication with Aelita. It's a guardian, the same monster that imprisoned Yumi. Right, and Aelita saved her by convincing the monster he had the wrong prisoner. Yeah, but Aelita is the prisoner this time. So now, the only solution is to use force. Yeah! 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 Is anyone there? I know you're there. Show yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Laser M. Jeremy, nothing's working. It's like this machine's invincible. Oh wow, Xana has Xana must have designed a program. Right, it's a program. And if it's a program, I should be able to. Hey, what are you mumbling about? You've got an idea, I hope. Maybe, but give me a couple minutes here. Okay, no problem, man. We've got all the time in the world. Already? To think I blew our whole cover by talking to a perfect stranger. That means the samurai wasn't after Talia at all, he was after us, Yumi! <sighs> Little 
more time. Uh, uh. Hey, how about that idea of yours? It's ready. Here goes. Making a clone of Aelita? Well, personally, I'm a bit skeptical, Jeremy. Patience, odd. Ah! <sighs> a decoy! Jeremy is the greatest. Get Aelita to a tower. She's got to regenerate herself. Everything's okay. Aelita's got her life points back again. Oh, you found me at last. What about the Guardian? You mean that big fat fire bubble? <laughs> he won't bother you anymore. We're off, Jeremy. Destination, the forest. We're here. Look, guys, you better hurry. I can't reach Yumi. I'm afraid she's having problems with the samurai. There's no time to lose. Let's go. While well, you're at it, you got any other good news? Oh, yeah, plenty. Talia saw me punch in the access code to the lab, and the principal and the police are here now. Um, and Xana's monsters are around. Two blocks. Watch out for their laser gel guns, or it's game over. Hey, blocks! Cool! My favorite monsters! Laser arrow! There! It was this computer right here. There was this Xana thing. I don't know how, but it seems he wants to destroy the planet. Jeremy, I think you owe us an explanation. Take care of Aelita. I'll stay here and cover you. Alone. Well, almost alone. <sighs> Triangulate! Come along now. I'm sorry, sir, but my friends are in danger and I can't abandon them. Ugh. No, don't! Stop! You can't do this! Let me go!
And this is Talia, your new classmate. I'm sure your fellow students are anxious Hi, to meet you. I heard Sissy say that the new girl was an orphan. That's why she didn't want to talk about her family. Well, anyway, if you look closely, you can see their eyes aren't the same. The nose is different, and so is the hair. They're not similar at all. How could you have possibly thought she was Aelita? Did you just say that we thought... You sure did. You'd have to be blind to think that. And now, to finish my report, I'd like to show you something that's been in my family for centuries. It's a living symbol of Japan. Here. Oh, man! That's cool! Gosh, Yuri, she's so cool. She's in the best report I've seen in the whole crowd. Okay guys, one down and one to go. Decepticons attack with hyperpower, but the Autobot Combiners fight back. Autobots, cowardly! Transformers, robots in disguise. Transformers, Energon. Each sold separately, actual change time will vary. You know you can't resist the face. And now back to Teen Titan. <laughs> 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 Maguzi's coming right back. This Memorial Day, the stars you'd usually find only in a theater near you have found an even closer place to visit. This Memorial Day, Cartoon Network has some of your favorite stars in some of your favorite films. All day long, back to back. An American Tale, Scooby-Doo and the Monster of Mexico, Pokemon the Movie 2000, Memorial Day Movie Marathon, Monday beginning at 9 on Cartoon Network. Well, it took me a while, but I managed to see Orokusaki for who he really is. The Shredder. Of course, to get to this point, we had to fight a bunch of foot ninja, which wasn't easy. Then we had to go up against Hun again. Definitely not easy. But the real nightmare is about to begin. Now we have to face the Shredder. And something tells me this is really not going to be easy. The time for games has ended. No more charades. 
see me as I am, and it will be the last thing you will ever see. Prepare to face your destiny and your doom. Well, uh, he's your friend, Leo. And he certainly has a strong sense of personal style. I mean, nice outfit. Yeah, but something tells me he didn't get all dressed up for nothing. Guys, we're in for the fight of our lives. Foot Ninja, attack! Destroy them! Isn't that what you're for, Rat? Yeah! Leo! The witch! been in deep meditation regarding the Shredder and... Not here? Oh, I cannot even take a few minutes for meditation without those kids running off. Hmm. Huh. What is the one thing I did not want them to do? Face the Shredder! I am sure that is what they have done. find my sons. Nice landing. They don't call me Air Mikey for nothing. <laughs> I will finish you first. Mikey? Hey, I was trying to move, but the building just jumped out and attacked me. Let's get you out of there. <clears throat> Ow! I think I hurt my ankle. Duh. Come on, I'll help you. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Seeing what I'm seeing. I wish I could, Mikey. I wish I could. Find the turtles. They cannot be far. Do not allow them to escape. Ugh. Foot Ninja, disappear! Report to me when you find them. I want to finish them myself. Raph, Don, and Mikey. Gotta regroup. But I'm not much good to my brothers if those guys find me first. Man, if those foot goons don't finish me off, the stinkinest dumpster will. Sheesh. We need to go back. 
I, I know, but you're in no condition to fight, Mikey. Let's get your ankle wrapped up and then we'll start looking for the others. Rest for a second. Whoa! It's the Shredder and some of his little friends. Look! Nothing. Keep searching. My ankle's killing me. You better leave me here. I'll only slow you down. Can that noise, Mikey. It's just a sprained ankle. We need to wrap it properly. While you're doing that, I'll just brush my long flowing locks. <laughs> nice. two miles away. Uh, 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 Mikey, you okay? I don't know if I can make it. Raph, is that you? The lights. The lights are turning out. It's all going dark. Tell Raph. Tell Raph. I'm right here, Mikey. I I I'm right here next to you. You tell Raph. He's always been a big cheese head. Psych. I can't believe you fell for that. Oh, oh, the lights are turning out. <laughs> I'll turn your lights out for real, wise guy. Raphael, Michelangelo, quiet down. If we could hear you, so could the foot ninja. We must move more quickly than this. We could always leave Mikey behind. Hey! Uh, I didn't bring the remote for the battle shell, or I could get it here. Perfecto, sensei! Looks like... We're surrounded. Master Splinter, use the remote! Get the battle shell!
Tello. Here, I will fight. You will drive. Activating remote. Master Splinter, you kick butt! This is new. You're definitely a ninja, but you're not one of them. I am simply a guardian. Beyond that, I cannot tell you anything more. That's pretty helpful. I am sorry, but I cannot reveal everything to you now. Just know that you are caught up in a battle that is bigger than you can imagine. I pretty much heard that already from Oroku Saki. Yes, it was the only truth that the Shredder told you. But know this, by rejecting the Shredder and his evil, you have made an ally this day. Slow down! You drive too quickly! And that turn was too short. Master Splinter, you've been backseat driving the whole way! Hey, Leo! Need a ride? Sure. Guys, I'd like to introduce you to... The Mystery Ninja. Good to see you, Leo! We were all pretty worried. Yes, my sons. But now, you are safe. Ow! Ow! Hey! What was that for? For being so foolish. You should never have tried to face the Shredder alone. He is too powerful. You're telling me. I've got bruises that have got bruises. And did you see the way that Shredder walked right through that fire? Yeah, he's like the Shreddernator or something. You have stirred the hornet's nest. He will not rest until he finds us. What should we do, Master Splinter? Let him find us. I have long wished to avenge my master Yoshi. Now is the time. But how do we let him find us? Sit still. I don't know, Master Splinter. Sitting still isn't one of our strong points. Right. Sitting still it is. I like sitting still. Sitting still's good.
the left foot from that position. Jeez, now you're backseat ninja-ing me, Master Splinter. my master Yoshi. Let us go home. I'm all over that. Yeah. I gotta tell you, home never sounded so good. and 24 Kool-Aid points plus shipping and handling. Plays only video now discs and black and white. See displays for details and you can mail it in. Cool, can I watch? And oh.
The new long-lasting fruit-flavored Chicklets are here. Chicklets, the original square gum. control, but they do let you control how you make lunch. With Lunchables, you're in control. Nope, you haven't tuned into the wrong show. That's me, Mikey under the cape and cowl. The flying dude up in the sky, his name's Silver Sentry. We're in the middle of our first superhero type team up. He just doesn't know it yet. You'd think an earthbound turtle like me would have a rough time keeping up with a guy who can soar through the sky like an eagle. And you know what? You'd be right. Remember, the purpose of this training exercise is to master the way of invisibility. Haven't you noticed how much safer the streets are since we put the smack down on that shredder dude? Looks like we really accomplished something for the greater good. <laughs> greater good? Police! <laughs> what are you, running for office? <laughs> Get over yourself already. Fine, make fun, but I still think we could be doing a whole lot more to help people. <laughs> oh no, you've got to stay back. Hey, look, we got to help that kid. Hang on. The fire department's got it covered. Besides, we'd get spotted. But we could... Don't worry, Mikey. It's covered. But what if they can't get her in time? Then he will. Wow. It's really him. The Silver Sentry. Mommy! Daddy! My baby! Oh... You're safe. Stand back. See? Now that's what I'm talking about. There's a guy who doesn't have to stick to the shadows. And look what he's able to do. Hey, that's it. We should become superheroes! Excuse me? Yeah, yeah. Go out on nightly patrols, thwart crimes, help the helpless, rescue the... rescueless? I think you've got your mask on too tight, Mikey. The oxygen's not making it to your brain. Don't you get it? We'd have secret identities to protect ourselves. We could work out in the open. Reading way too many comic books, Mikey. The two greatest weapons at the ninja's disposal are placement and surprise. Tonight, we perfect a move that utilizes both. Leonardo, invisible flying dragon. Yeah! Raphael. Donatello. Yeah! Michelangelo. Michelangelo. Yeah! What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Oh, yeah? Let me see. Hey, give it back. <laughs> Come Keep on, guys. Give it away. <laughs> hey, check this out. What is that? The Ninjustice League? More like the Shilltastic Four. The Legion of Sewer Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> well, hardy har. Even our level-headed leader gets a funny in. You're not really serious about this superhero kick, are you? Why not? 
Superheroes never have to hold back because they're scared someone's gonna see them. And wouldn't it be nice to get a little credit for the good we do? Your intentions are noble, Michelangelo. But you must never forget who you are. You are ninja. You operate in the shadows. But can't we accomplish so much more out in the open? There are many paths, my son. You must choose the one that is true to yourself. Now let us return to our training. Sorry, Sensei. I gotta get out and clear my head. So how do I get to be a superhero? Step one, secret origin story. Already covered. Step two, cool mode of transport. The turtle mobile. Nah, too limited. These will do nicely. Step three, go out on patrol. Ah! Stop! See! Stop! Yeah. Don't you know that bag clashes with that outfit? Okay, so I lose points for style. Still, mission accomplished. Now for the sweet expression of thanks from a grateful stranger. Here's your purse, lady. No need to thank. Get away from me, you freak. Me? <sighs> Step four, work on an appearance that doesn't instantly freak out the people you're trying to protect. I need a superhero costume. So then it dawned on me. If you want to act like a superhero, you got to look like a superhero. Pretty lame, huh? No, not at all. I think you should follow your dream. You do? We just got to find the right look for you. Nah, too cumbersome. Too formal. Two mugger. Hang on, I think I got it. Introducing Turtle Titan. Hmm, not bad. <laughs> a citizen in peril. This looks like a job for... Turtle Titan! <laughs> Never fear! Turtle Titan is... Ooh. Ow! <laughs> Sorry. My bad. Hang on. Who are you? What's going on? Police! I'm being attacked by a costume freak! Attacked? Dude, you were like this close to being roadkill! Man, what's it take to get some superhero respect in this town? Good old fashioned robbery! Now that's more like it! Beware, evildoers! Turtle Titan is in the house! So much for striking fear in the hearts of criminals. Once again, the name is Turtle Titan. Remember it, because as of now, your name is... Crazy Manny? What's going on? Oh my gosh, please don't hurt me! Take anything! I got a family! Wait! I'm not breaking into your store! You were! Why would I do that? That's what I want to know! Hey! That doesn't look like part of your inventory! The officer in here! Some nut job's trying to rip off my store!
mind control bugs our success, despite the interference of that caped fool. One more field test to see how far I can push my helpless puppets. Then I will take control of my true target. <laughs> with people tonight. Sentry. And you are? Michael. I mean, Turtle Titan. I'm a superhero. Just like you. Well, obviously not just like you, but I mean, I've always admired your work. Uh-huh. First night on the job, eh? Is it that obvious? Listen, uh, Turtle Titan, is it? I admire your good intentions, but this is a dangerous occupation. If you're not careful, someone's gonna get hurt. Most likely you. <gasps> you might want to call it a night. Wait! You need to see this. Someone's been controlling people with these things. Making them do crazy stuff. Hmm. Looks like the work of my arch nemesis, Dr. Malignus. You may have disabled it, but it's still receiving a control signal. originating from that warehouse. Let's go. Are you all right? Sorry. This is a first for me. First time flying? First superhero team up. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you said the bad guy's warehouse was in the other direction. Let's get one thing straight, Turtle Titan. There will be no superhero team-up tonight. But... You've got a lot of heart, kid, and I appreciate the help, but you're in way over your head. You need to keep yourself safe and out of sight while I deal with Malignus. You don't understand! I took this gig so I wouldn't have to hide in the shadows! Ah, uh, what does he know? I wouldn't give for a turtle plane right about now. <sighs> Guess I'll just have to get across the old-fashioned way. <sighs> yep, definitely need me a turtle mobile. <sighs>
any nefarious twisted evildoers in the house? Just the one. Dr. Malignus, I presume. I'm sorry. I haven't had the pleasure, Mr. The name is Turtle Titan. What have you done with Silver Sentry? Why, he's right here. Oh, there you are. Had me worried for a sec. Did I mention he's completely under my control? No. Yes. Silver Sentry is my slave to do all my villainous bidding. Your hero is now powerless to stop himself from becoming the very thing he despises the most. A super villain. And your first villainous task, my super puppet. Destroy Turtle Titan. <laughs> Silver Sentry, you don't really want to hurt me. That's the beauty of my plan. He doesn't want to hurt you, but he can't stop himself. Then it's up to me to stop him. Right. What was I thinking? of this pest. was right again maybe it's time to get back to basics ninja turtle style Titan, you've earned your superhero team up. It's over, Malignus. You've lost. Only this round, Sentry. The game will continue. <laughs> Muscle bound fool. Doesn't he know I always have an escape plan? Hi, remember me? Yeah! Wow. Who needs a shield and grappling hook anyway? Thanks for the help. You're welcome to team up with me anytime, Turtle Titan. The name's Michelangelo. And from now on, I'll leave the limelight to guys like you. I can do a lot more good for this town in the shadows. And so, my sons, we practice our moves very slowly so that we may execute them with great speed. What do you know? It's Super Mikey. Returning to his secret Turtle Cave headquarters. How's life in the funny books? At a Brooklyn warehouse where the Silver Sentry has defeated and captured the criminal mastermind known as Dr. Malignus. Any comment on the incident, Silver Sentry? I just want to say I couldn't have done it without the help of my new friend and ally, 
Turtle Titan. Mikey, was that you the Silver Sentry was talking about? I'm a turtle, not a titan. So, who's ready to get back to training? We can make much mischief here. When the world needs saving, there's one group of teenagers who will always get the job done. Titans, go! Whoever they are, they're no match for the Teen Titans. I am sorry to you, but I am stronger than I look. Teen Titans, coming up next. Come on in, the water's fine. Only on the Goozy. Okay guys, one down and one to go. Decepticons attack with hyperpower, but the Autobot Combiners fight back. Autobots, cowardly! Transformers, robots Transformers, Energon. Each sold separately, actual change time will vary. Althea is just like any other school. Except for the princesses, fairies, and magic classes. Focus your wings and go! We've got some trouble to cause. Not even those evil witches can rain on this parade with all the cute red fountain boys around. It's like, what else could you ask for? Wings Club, Monday through Friday at 5. Bring it on. I'm gonna whip you and not even muck my hair. Feel the magic on Maguzi. Right now, you're watching Wings Club on Maguzi. Next, the case is always solved on Totally Spies. Later, the Teen Titans are on the way. If you desire, you can become one of our bonds. Wings, if your hand is warm in mine, it'll give us greater power. With a feeling we'll be sure. Fire with us. Wings, we just might you can and send. And lighten up our world. With a feeling we can take. Fire watch us. If you desire, you can become one of our bonds.
Magoozie's coming right back. This Memorial Day, the stars you'd usually find only in a theater near you have found an even closer place to visit. This Memorial Day, Cartoon Network has some of your favorite stars in some of your favorite films. All day long, back to back. An American Tale, Scooby-Doo and the Monster of Mexico, Pokemon the Movie 2000, Memorial Day Movie Marathon, Monday beginning at 9 on Cartoon Network. Try one? Cool. New Cool Aid Ice Cool. Lemon Ice, Arctic Green Apple. Can I watch my show? And oh. You're in control with the Kool Aid Video Now Player. It's yours with a disc for $19.99 and 24 Kool Aid points plus shipping and handling. Plays only Video Now discs in black and white. See displays for details and you can mail it in. Cool, can I watch? And oh. Ew. The new long-lasting fruit-flavored Chicklets are here. Chicklets, the original square gum. Maybe your Lunchables don't give you this kind of control. But they do let you control how you make lunch. With Lunchables, you're in control. There's a new phenomenon sweeping the nation. Kids everywhere are consumed by bouts of uncontrollable and seemingly unprovoked laughter. Why? <laughs> Let's ask the experts. <laughs> funny bones. It's the new Marshmallow Funny Bones in Kellogg's Special Edition Scooby-Doo Cereal. A delicious part of this complete breakfast. Just one bite may leave you laughing all day. Well, I'm a monkey to the hole and I'm all right. Pack with chocolate. Cut, cut. Not monkey, chunky. Chunky Chips Ahoy, jam-packed with big, rich chocolate chunks. It's a whole lot of yum. This Memorial Day, the stars you'd usually find only in a theater near you have found a closer place to visit. This Memorial Day, Cartoon Network has some of your favorite films. An American Tale, Scooby-Doo and the Monster of Mexico, Pokemon the Movie 2000, Memorial Day Movie Marathon, Monday beginning at 9 on Cartoon Network. all of you again. You don't look very happy to me. What happened to you? Indeed. That's what Miss Farragonda wants to know. <gasps> Here, drink it while it's hot. It'll do you good. All right, then. Would you like to tell me what happened, Bloom? I went back to Gardenia, ma'am. I... I didn't feel like I was good enough for this school. Oh, Bloom. It was a hard journey, but useful. Now I know who I am and what my purpose is. Or was, rather. What do you mean? I found out the truth, and it's horrible. I'm the last princess of Domino, ma'am. 
the Keeper of the Dragon Flame. That's why my sister Daphne the Nymph gave me that crown at Lake Rogaluce. That crown was the symbol for which she sacrificed her life. Yes, but you embody that symbol. You mean you know my history? Why in the world didn't you tell me? Bloom, sometimes the search for the truth is more important than the truth itself. If I told you earlier, you wouldn't have been able to understand. So you're saying it was better for me to find things out through the three witches? What three witches? What are you talking about? I see Darcy and Stormy followed me to Gardenia and took away the power I was meant to protect. The dragon flame is in their hands. Oh, those three witches are no mere students. A strange light shines in their eyes. They're crazy, man. Crazy like the three old witches who destroyed Domino mm. way back when. And now what's going to happen? I don't know, but this doesn't bode well for magics. doing here? This is my school and I won't let you wreak havoc in here. haven't gotten it yet, Miss Griffin? We're in charge now. Witches of Cloud Tower, listen up. We are about to effect several changes around here. And if you don't like it, by all means, speak up. We're open to criticism. <laughs> <laughs> Griffin, you and your students have just earned yourselves a nice vacation in the damp snake and rat infested dungeons of Cloud Tower. What? You're not happy? How ungrateful. You wretch! If you think you'll get away with this, you're wrong! Oh yeah, we all saw how you can stop us. It was very impressive. <laughs> you're making a big mistake. You're crazy! Crazy? Really? Well, Miss Griffin, I dare you to say that again. They're mad! <gasps> now we will go down into the castle crypt, where the most evil spells are kept, and we'll call forth the Army of Darkness. You can't! No one's ever been able to control the Army of Darkness! It will cause total destruction! Oh, really? And 
here we are. <laughs> the army of darkness will be under our command. <laughs> Why are you so worried? These young witches aren't proficient yet. They certainly won't know how to use the power of the dragon flame. Perhaps, but what they lack in experience, they make up for in power and ruthlessness. I trust your instinct, Farragonda. I'll put Red Fountain on alert. And what about Miss Griffin? What does she have to say? No one is answering at Cloud Tower, and that worries me. Let's wait a bit before making any decisions. <laughs> I'm a mess. I was unable to use my power when I needed it most, and now the whole magic dimension is in serious jeopardy. I've got to do something. But what? I mean, I've lost my powers. I'm not a fairy. I'm not anything anymore. Hi, Stella. Uh, may I speak to Blue? Uh, of course. No problem. I'll wait. She can't. Oh. Rejected by his little fairy. <laughs> Darcy will be happy to hear this. What's going on here? Since when does Griffin let you use her office? <laughs> Since we took it from her. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know what you've done, but I really don't like what's going on around here. Oh, Riven. You're still in the dark, aren't you? But rest assured, you were fundamental to our success. We couldn't have done it without your help. Your spying skills made all the difference in our power struggle with the fairies. No! You've tricked me! Curses on you! <laughs> you snakes! Spear of Oblivion! after for so long is now ours. We'll begin the conquest at Cloud Tower. Then, the whole magic dimension. At last. Let's not be rash, Stormy. Today, Althea and Red Fountain will get a taste of what we're capable of. Creatures of the dark, as your rulers we command it. So 
what do you think of our army, sisters? The moment of truth has come at last. Hey, look! It's about to rain. Everybody, let's get out of here. The school's under attack. <laughs> this is a total invasion. We've got to fight back. Let's send these critters back to where they came from. But I... I can't help. Don't worry, we'll take care of them for you, too. All right, go on, then. I still know how to defend my friends. Sword technique, fourth level of power. I'll teach you that next year. Yeah! It's all right, let me handle it. They've swarmed the east wing. Now they're headed for the laboratories. Did you hear that, Saladin? Those creatures are taking over Althea. The situation here at Red Fountain isn't much better. The entire magic dimension is in great peril. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go and help my boys.
get you! What? We've come to get you out of here! You must save yourself, my prince! We're fighting to save the dimension! My place is here! Don't be silly! You're a prince! Let these peasants fight for you! Well, what are you waiting for? Your duty is to rule! Mission failed. Fall back. <laughs> it's time to call a halt to the fighting sisters. Call back the creatures of the dark. The magic dimension is now ready to hear our demands. <laughs> in the next episode, the Trix's demands put Red Fountain in serious danger. A mission to Domino is organized so Bloom can investigate her past and get the dragon's flame back. A dangerous mission begins for the fairies in the frozen, timeless land of Domino. What will happen to Bloom without her powers? How will she face the enemy? Quitting time already? Time flies when you're having fun, huh? Uh, hey, listen, cutie. Not for nothing, but that was a nice move with the tree branch. Uh, hello? Am I missing something? Big, huge battle here? Check your date book, Cookie. It's Edipan. Edipan? Monroe! Oh, sorry, lass. My bad. Could have sworn it was next week. The magic calendar changes every year. Now, keeping track of the holidays is a nightmare. Yeah, fine. But what's Edipan? It's the one week a year where magic takes a holiday. Everyone in the community gets time off, including the Tejuan Z. <gasps> Seriously? Does that mean I can go to drama camp over vacation without worrying about any magical freaks messing things up? Oh, no offense. Hey, none taken. Yes, you're free and clear. Hey, so what's the plan, huh? You want to pick this up next week? 
Uh, sure. How about, uh, Thursday? No, wait, that's no good. I've got parent-teacher night at school. Uh, Friday okay? Okay, great. So, uh, have a nice Edipan. Yeah, sure. I've got 43 of my wife's relatives coming over. They're gonna eat until their butts explode. Take my advice, Cupcake. Marry into a species that allows you to eat your young. Hello? Yeah, I'm on my way right... Oh, for Pete's sake. They eat all the hors d'oeuvres already. Why, well, Edipan started like five minutes ago, those butt monkeys. Throw me off the bus. Now. Seriously. Ophelia, I don't get it. If you hate drama camp so much, why do you come every year? Right. And get stuck alone with my mom watching game shows all week? Okay, hello? I don't think so. Listen, dude. I'll talk to the warden, but I gotta be honest with you. You're looking at life. And you're looking at 30 stitches in your hiney if you don't shut it! For pity's sake, aren't we there yet? That poor excuse for breakfast is wearing off, and I need my afternoon snack! So, what do you think Scotty's cooking for you this year? Oh, lad, Scotty's the greatest culinary genius ever to cook for a children's camp! It'll be a week of nine-course meals, all of them deep-fried, most of them involving bacon! I love that man! Kick it easy, dog. Last year you came back with a cholesterol level of like a million. I don't care if my blood turns to gravy. It's chow time for Monroe. Let's sing a song. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. I guess the bright side is that this can't get any more annoying. Hey, guys. And there it is. Great to see you made it back this year. I, for one, couldn't wait to hone my craft again with Madame Rothschild. Hey, Ophelia. Nice outfit. Still working the goth thing, or did somebody actually die? I mean, besides your wardrobe. Anyhow, I'm, like, so psyched to star in this year's camp musical. You know, like I did last year and the year before. Ophelia, guess it's back to stage crew for you, huh? It's perfect. You can just blend into the darkness. Maybe she'll get eaten by a bear. There's no bears in Orchid Bay. Then we should rent one. Ah, the theater. This hallowed ground teeming with memories. Life, death, comedy, tragedy. The very core of human existence played out for all the world to see at outrageous ticket prices. Welcome, children. Welcome to yet another thrilling season at Madame Rothschild's drama camp. For those of you newcomers, I am Madame Edna Rothschild. You might recognize me from my many appearances on stage and screen, and most recently, a national antiperspirant commercial. Now, the big news! This year's production is going to be a real treat. An original musical written by yours truly, based on the legendary tale, Jack and the Beanstalk. Auditions will begin tomorrow morning at 10 sharp. So good night, good luck, and good acting! An original musical? This is so great! I'm gonna try out for every single part. What about you guys? Um, well, I'm not sure yet. Yeah, well, I am. Stage crew, here I come. Come on, Ophelia. You should try out for a real part this year. Okay, hello. I can't act, I can't sing, and I can't dance. All I can do is paint scenery. Monroe! 
Get your hairy buttocks over here, you four-legged fur-covered meatloaf, and give old Scotty a great big wet one. Oh, oh, you got breath that did knock a buzzard off a dump truck. Oh, but come on, show old Scotty some love. Dude, that's just embarrassing. No, my wee bucket of canine pulchritude. Who's ready for Scotty's homemade brideys and haggis? Ooh, I love this man! And if happy little bluebirds fly, if they fly beyond the rainbow, tell me why, oh why, can't I? Thank you! Yes, fine, congratulations, my dear, you're our princess. I'm singing in the rain, just singing in the rain. What a glorious feeling. Thank I'm... you. Congratulations, you're the goose that lays the golden eggs. Oh, seriously? Next. Oh, thank you. Young man, is there anything else you can do? Splendid. The village idiot. But... Go! Now! <clears throat> clang, clang, clang went the trolley. Ding, ding, ding went the bell. Zing, zing, zing went my heartstrings. No, 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 no. You've got to sell it, darling. Sell it! Belt it to the back of the theater and make them beg for more. Watch and learn. Hit it, Harry! Clang, clang, clang with the trolley. A ding, ding, ding went the bell. Zing, zing, zing went my heart strings. From the moment I saw him, I... Telling an actor to break a leg is a grand old tradition in theater. And now, I have... Oh, the irony. But, madame, it's only your leg. You can still direct, just sitting down. No, child. The theater demands total commitment, body and soul. No, my darlings, while I'd rather hang from the gallows than make this decision, I fear the show must be canceled. I'll do it. Okay, hello. There's also an old saying that the show must go on, right? And you're always telling us how an artist must seize the moment. So let me take your place. I can do this. I know I can do this. And you will, my dear. What? I like your moxie. You remind me of myself when I was just a young chorus girl with dreams of becoming a big Broadway star. And like you, those dreams will be crushed into dust like snail shells on concrete. But still, the job of director is yours. This script contains everything you will need to make my vision a reality. Take it. Learn from it. Listen to the call of the muse. I have put my soul into this show, Ophelia. I am handing you my very soul. Do you understand? Yes, madame. I understand. Okay, listen up, people. I'm making a few changes here. Terence, Melissa, you guys were cast as Jack and the Princess? <coughs> okay, yeah, sorry, we've decided to go another way. Now you're the cow. Oh, and Melissa, take the back half. Oh, you can't do Jody, that. you're the new princess. Ray Ray, you're gonna be the goose. Cool! I get to shoot eggs out of my butt! And Juniper, you're gonna play Jack. Uh, Ophelia? What about me? Still the village idiot, Raj. Can't argue with perfect casting. Okay, everybody, look over your new parts. Rehearsal in 15! Um, Ophelia? Uh, seriously, in case you haven't noticed, I'm a girl. And kind of Chinese. I can't play Jack. Yes, you can! Hello! It's a whole statement on gender and race and all that kind of garbage. 
June, please, we can do this. You and me, trust me, nothing's gonna go wrong. And that is when we capture Tej Wan Z. But Dimitri, Edipan is sacred pet. We're not supposed to be working this week. It is forbidden. Bah! Dimitri the Terrible will not stray from his path because of some archaic tradition. Besides, I am going skiing next week. It's now or never. What's up there, Scotty? Well, if it isn't the great star of stage, young Master Lee, and dressed in his formal theatrical garb. What role might you have, me lad? I'm the goose and Jack in the beanstalk. I fire off golden eggs right out of my can. Oh, my. Doesn't that sound disgusting? Oh, yeah. I wouldn't sit in the first ten rows if I were you. <laughs> hey, I was just stopping by to see Monroe. How's he... Whoa! Whoa! Oh, I'm just uh, waiting for my stomach to settle. Uh, we're having chocolate eclairs for dessert. Dude, what are you doing? You look like a hairy blimp with feet. I'm not fat. My family merely has big bones. Yeah, well, even the Brontosaurus family doesn't have bones that big. Here you are, my little hirsute cherub, the eclairs. And if you're still a wee bit peckish, I got you a cake made entirely of roast beef. Careful, it's a little spicy. I love this man. Oh, dude. Oh, I, uh, I... Quick, pull me closer to the food. Don't sit there and stare. Just make me a millionaire. An omelet of 24 carrots. A frittata with gold coins and ham. This breakfast won't fill you up. But with riches like this, well, who gives up? Roger! For the tenth time, you are not in the scene. But I've only got two lines at the end of the play. I just run out and scream, power to the beans, power to the beans. And if you come in early one more time, I'm going to cut it down to no lines. Comprende? Bikers, you're killing me here. You're absolutely killing me. You're the vicious scourge of the road. Let me see some grip. And Grim Reaper, you're the bringer of death. Hello? When you come out here, I want that audience to be dead. Get it? Dead! But I've got to say, I think it was your best effort yet. Take five. But only five! <laughs> Looks like a full house. Okay, oh my gosh, hello, this is it. This is the moment that we've all been working so hard for. Thank you so much for your support and dedication to this show. It's been an incredible artistic journey for all of us. So get out there and make me proud! And if you don't, I'll bury every single one of you up to your necks in hot tar. Got it? Now move! Um, Ophelia, uh, just so you know, I'm really proud of you. Uh, seriously. A lot of people didn't think you could pull this off, but you showed them. You did it. Okay, like, don't go all after-school special on me. I did, though, huh? <laughs> yeah, totally. Places! See you at the curtain call! Just don't turn into a diva and hog the spotlight. In a world without pity in our dark, forbidden city, the only thing you know for sure is that Jack is so stupid. Jack is just so stupid. He invented a solar power flashlight. Jack, he thinks it's safer for astronauts to fly to the sun at night. Jack, when Jack reads, he always. By trying it. Jack! He's got the worst sense of humor. Jack! 
June. She's got to be here someplace. Somebody find June! <sighs> June's cue is coming up. What are we going to do? I will go on for her. What do you mean? You can't do that. Yes, I can. I know the part of Jack backwards and forwards. You had a Jack costume on underneath? Got everybody's costume on underneath. Even yours. Whoa, enough. I get it. Fame and fortune, here I come. Did you check the dressing room? Well, check it again. Ah! I know that I'm not the smartest guy. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shade. Might as well give up. Those are magical giant bonds, for which can only be cut by a giant's blade. Yeah, well, you're gonna get your giant butt drop kicked to Seattle if you don't let me go. It's Edipan, you idiot. You're supposed to be on vacation. I don't observe Edipan. He's not crazy about Labor Day either. Enough chit chat. If you ever want to get out of here, you will convince the elders to release my cousins, the Kotsanov twins, who were wrongly banished for a crime they did not commit. They were stealing the ancient orb of annihilation. No, they weren't stealing. They were curious. They were looking at it. You know to play. They are curious and playful boys. They tried to annihilate Wisconsin! Well, <laughs> can you blame them? It's very cold. All they have there is cheese. Yeah, he's got a thing about cheese, too. Yes, I hate Labor Day. Cheese, those little packages of ketchup, those commercials they show before the movies, and all that popcorn. Why do they give you a garbage pail full of popcorn? Who could eat so much? Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Kiss the house goodbye. The rent is due tomorrow. Magic beans, I could scream. And we've lost our cow. And we've lost our cow. Magic beans, magic beans, magic beans, magic beans. Oh, no, we got a problem. What could be so important to interrupt my enjoyment of the thespian arts? Chew it, don't spew it. June's missing. We can't find her anywhere. Come on! Ah, for the love of... No offense, dude, but I can hear your thighs rubbing together. Shut up or I'll pluck ya! Intermission people, ten minutes. This is a travesty, a theatrical mockery, a grotesque display of... Genius! Utter genius! Visionary and avant-garde masterpiece! A new era has dawned in the world of drama, Edna! I don't know how you did it! Oh, well, yes, it, it came to me in a dream. The second act better be as good as the first. <laughs> I think the line was a bit too Andrew Lloyd Webber, do you? Monroe! Man, are you fat. I may be plump, but at least I'm not trussed up like a holiday ham.
long story. I I'm really sorry. I it's okay. Actually, Roger's good. Huh. I don't think I've ever heard the words Roger and good in the same sentence before. <laughs> Sounds wrong somehow. You know, like dry ice, cold sweat, jumbo shrimp. <gasps> the village idiot! We don't have one anymore! Got it covered! Power to the beans! Power to the beans! Closer to the food. Two ordinary teens have made an extraordinary discovery. Nice. It was created to defend the earth. But these guys have other ideas. Check it out. Now, an alien race is set to invade. You are no match for the glory. But Coop's modifications could mean the end of us all. What have you done to my robot? My robot. The power of Megas just might save the world. Piece of cake. Ooh, I could go for some cake. If these two idiots don't screw it up first. Your mom's so gonna kill you. An all new episode, Megas XLR. Saturday nights at 9. Mischief weighs a ton. Where do I get one of those? Only Tsunami. Let's do it! There's a place I know where the happenings to movie go and go. Sounds groovy! Yeah, fun places to go, fun times, and fun tune stars to know. Sounds fun! fun. Well, yeah, that's what I said. Come on, let's go! It's right up ahead! the most funnest place I know to catch two Disney double feature movie shows. Fridays at 5, 4 Central on two Disney. I'll be there. Now Comcast Digital Cable puts you in control of hundreds of free programs with On Demand. Check out what's new. Hello, gang. Introducing Nick and Nick Jr. On Demand, where kids can catch SpongeBob, Rugrats, and other Nick tunes anytime. This month features a tribute to the mommies, including a special Dora the Explorer Mother's Day adventure. On Demand. Pick a show, play it whenever. With Comcast Digital Cable. If you don't have it, get it today. Are coming. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. The video game rated everyone. Available June 4th. EA Games. The story continues. I say, let me go. <laughs> Not likely. Hang in there, Uncle Toucan. That nasty alien can't resist me. There they are. There we go. Run, boys. Right behind you. Thanks, kids, for helping me escape that nasty alien fruit monster. As a reward, a free Toucan Sam Bendy in specially marked boxes of Kellogg's Fruit Loops cereal. The fruity part of this good breakfast. Mm, the ultimate fruit taste must have more. <laughs> Don't rupture its matter-antimatter propulsion system. Hey, I know what I'm doing. 
This ain't my first barbecue. But it may be your last. Uh, what's going on? You ruptured its matter-antimatter system. Now it's going to expand and pull the Earth into a spatial void. Ain't nothing getting voided on my watch. Care of that. Who's up for some ice cream with the chunks of bubble gum in it? Space has opened. A rift? Into normal space? I believe so, Warmaster. <laughs> At long last, freedom from null space! Mark exit coordinates and take us out, Commander! Aye, Warmaster. Are the modifications to the ship completed? Yes, Warmaster. Then prepare to implement my plan. I will extinguish the pathetic planet Earth once and for all! Vengeance shall be mine! Oh no! He's back? It's just for a couple of hours, while Aunt Esther and I go shopping in the city! Now try to be a responsible adult for once in your life and watch your cousin Skippy! Hey! I am a responsible adult. Oh yeah, responsible. Like nearly sucking the Earth into a black hole. It was a spatial void, thank you very much. And I told you that was an accident. You again? You again? Don't you have your own house? Who's the chick? Chick? She's from the future. Yeah, right. Tell the kids something about the future, Kiva. Little boys like you are used as target practice by chicks like me. Hey, get out of my seat. Make me. Hey, when you get to the planet of the brain eaters, remember who sent you there. Of course, they'll have eaten your brain, so he won't remember anything. Yeah! All right! Yeah! Oh! No! Dude, 
My pizza. You're not missing anything. The pizza near my house is way better. Oh, man, I almost broke the state record on that. <laughs> like, that's hard. I did that a hundred times. so bored in my life. This has got to be the most boring place on the planet. Then we'll see how you like it off the planet. <laughs> there. What do you got to say now? Pretty cool, huh? If I had a giant robot, it would be way cooler than this. I don't think taking Skippy up here was such a good idea. Yeah, and shouldn't he be in the back? Relax, I ain't gonna let nothing happen to him. That's because nothing is happening. It's because nothing is happening. <laughs> thought they rigged that whole lunar landing thing. This doesn't prove anything. Interesting. The moon is bigger in the past. In my time, it's missing more of its mass. And no one knows how that happened. <sighs> Maybe because it got bored and went someplace cool. You want cool? I'll give you cool. minivan goes faster than this. Yeah? But can it do this? on the moon. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Think I'm gonna throw up. Skippy, give me your hat. I thought I wasted these slugs. How'd they get back? Well, it doesn't look like they're bothering anyone. Who's up for going home? We have to get closer and find out what they're doing. Fast! I'm on it. Hmm. Do you think we could get back to finding out what the Glorft are up to? Hmm? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm not picking 
up much activity. Hmm, there's atmosphere in here. Whoa, smells like rotten eggs. Uh, yeah. Must be how the dwarfs smell. I wonder what these chumps are doing. It looks like a giant engine. <laughs> An engine? Yeah, right. <laughs> I know a few things about engines, and that's way too big to be an engine. Wait, I'm getting something. Is the hyperthrust fusion engine online yet? The engine is ready, Warmaster. Well, at least the Glorf don't know we're here. What the heck are you doing with some big moon engine, you dirty squid? What the heck are you doing? You. Oh, yeah. It's me. You thought you could defeat me. You thought you could defeat the Glorf. Never, you wretched meddlesome ape. Yeah? Well, you ain't so cool. Nice comeback. Shut up, Skippy. I should thank you for sending us into no space. We were able to rebuild the carriage or from technology we plundered along the way. Now we are much, much stronger. Nice going. Why? I didn't know that was gonna happen. As a small token of my appreciation, please accept the destruction of Earth as I slam your very moon into it! Initiate startup sequence! Startup sequence initiated. Coop, we've got ten minutes until that thing goes off. Nothing can stop me this time. I wouldn't count on that, you dirty s- We've lost the signal. Did you locate the Earther's position? Uh, there wasn't enough time? You incompetent! What the face? All units, track down and destroy the intruder! Immediately! Yo, Squid, you there? What happened? I was just about to get some good digs in. We have more important things to worry about. If I can just locate them. There, the main generators are right through that door. Got it. But, Coop, wait! <laughs> the door is 30 feet of reinforced tritanium with electromagnetic shielding. Oh, you think they might have a warning sign or something? I'm picking up a small access duct over there. One of us can squeeze through and open the door from inside. Through that tiny thing? With the Glorfed out there? You can count me out. I could do it. You? Yeah, send the kid. Good idea. Skippy should go. He might be our only option. No way. He may be a complaining last piece of pizza eaten snot, but I'm still his babysitter. He's my responsibility. Ah! You're the best babysitter ever. So gonna kill me. Not before they do.
pretty cool. Ugh, gross! What's that on your face? Fine, we should just go home. That's what responsible adults do. I hate to spoil the family reunion, but they can fire. Fire! Fire! I think they need this. That looks like a Glorth firing key. Guess kicking alien butt runs in the family. So does fat. Better let a responsible adult hold it. Okay, you slimy chumps. First, you come back after I kill you. Then you try to beat up my cousin. And now you think you're gonna shoot the moon into the earth? Well, I got your trigger right here. Fired the engine. Should have let a responsible child hold it. Warmaster, the engine is launching. Excellent. I shall revel in the decimation of this sickening world. There's no way out for you this time, Earther. Well, at least we'll have a good view. Take some of that. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> should leave. Evasion action! Too late! No. No! I will return, Arthur! Your underdeveloped brain has no capacity to comprehend the horrors that I have in store for you! And my underdeveloped brain will be waiting. Hey! That'll teach you alien creeps. Nobody better be trying to destroy my moon. Yeah, why let them do it when you can do it yourself? I should have known. Oh, well, no one sees this side of the moon anyway. We got shot at by giant robots and blew up the moon and beat up a bunch of booger aliens? Can I visit Coop again tomorrow? Scientists are baffled about what has caused the catastrophic lunar destruction, but its effects can be felt all over the globe as tides and severe weather patterns are running rampant and... Check it out. Five bucks for babysitting Skippy. Dude, we can get some of that bubblegum ice cream. Yeah. Do you realize we may have just permanently altered the Earth's ecosystem by damaging the moon? What's that got to do with bubblegum ice cream? Nothing. Let's go. Rock on! Can I hang out with Koopa again? Please, can I? 
Uh, let's go out the back way. <laughs> 